U.S. has to be ready to send troops to Ukraine, House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries. U.S. House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries said the United States must continue supporting Ukraine to prevent a broader war. We can't let Ukraine fall because if it does, then there's a significant likelihood that America will have to get into the conflict, not simply with our money, but with our service women and our service men. Jeffries said in an interview with CBS, Jeffries explained that he believes Russian President Vladimir Putin seeks to recreate the Soviet Union and in doing so will threaten NATO allies. Putin's invasion of neighboring Georgia did not stop there. Jeffries pointed out, nor did his takeover of Crimea in eastern Ukraine. Are we to believe that in the face of this kind of consistent aggression, if we allow Vladimir Putin to succeed in Ukraine, he's only going to stop in Ukraine? Of course not, Jeffrey said. There is a growing pro-Putin faction in the Republican Party that does not want to support Ukraine and believes, for some reason, that Russia is not an enemy of the United States of America, Jeffries said. In his interview, Jeffries spoke about Ukrainian military's ability to hold off Russian forces for more than two years. This has been a strategic success by any definition, Jeffrey said. And so those that want to convince the American people that the Ukrainian effort has been a failure are promoting Vladimir Putin's propaganda because the facts say the exact opposite, which is why it's important for us to finish the job. It's a Churchill or Chamberlain moment. Last month, Congress approved a long-awaited bill to provide $61 billion in military and humanitarian aid for Ukraine. The first major aid package since December 2022, it came after months of fighting and deadlock in Congress, driven by Republicans who are divided over foreign aid to Ukraine. U.S. military aid will reach Ukraine in a few months, by which time Russian attack will intensify. Sources among U.S. and European officials have informed the New York Times that the U.S. has supplied Ukraine with small batches from the first 1 billion euros military aid package announced after the funding was unblocked in Congress. However, the main batch from the large aid package will arrive in Ukraine in several months. The New York Times states that Ukraine received a batch of anti-tank missiles, ammunition and 155mm artillery rounds from the US as early as the 28th of April. The second batch of American aid arrived on the 29th of April. Next day, a new batch of Patriot interceptor missiles from Spain arrived in Poland on Tuesday. A senior Spanish official stated that they will be at the Ukrainian front soon. A part of new armament for Ukraine was delivered even before the announcements. A UK source told the New York Times that parts of the UK package announced on the 23rd of April by UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak started arriving several weeks ago. Nonetheless, the bigger part of the weapons from large aid packages announced by the US, the UK and Germany will be delivered to Ukraine in a few months. The first reason is logistics. Combat vehicles, speedboats, modern guns, launchers and air defense systems are often transported by sea and by train with enhanced security due to their size. An American official told the New York Times that most of the large weapons and even a part of ammunition will be sent from the US and will most likely be delivered by the middle of summer, if not later. Moreover, the American side is yet to determine where it can get the equipment promised for Ukraine in a way so as not to endanger the combat ability of NATO units using it. On the 24th of April, US President Joe Biden signed legislation enacted by Congress that offers about 61 billion US dollars in new military and economic aid to Ukraine, as well as help to other US allies. Ukraine will receive six TRML 4D radars from Germany. What they are needed for? Ukraine will receive additional six TRML 4D air surveillance radars for air defense needs from the German manufacturer Hensold. As reported by the company, the purchaser of the radars is the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. However, payment for them will be made by the government of Germany as part of military aid. The cost of purchasing six TRML 4D radars amounts to over 100 million euros. The radars will be delivered to Ukraine later this year. TRML 4D radars are necessary to enhance the country's air defense capabilities. TRML 4D is a medium range C band radar from the TRML family developed in 2018. TRML 4D uses the latest digital radar technology. It is capable of detecting, tracking, and classifying different types of aerial targets. A focus is on small, 
fast and low flying and or maneuvering cruise missiles as well as aircraft and helicopters. It ensures the rapid detection and tracking of about 1,500 targets in a radius of up to 250 kilometers. It is equipped with a phased array antenna with electronic scanning based on gallium nitride transmit receive modules. The system also has a mean time to repair of less than 0.5 hours and features built-in test equipment to ease maintenance and minimize downtime. Several systems are under contract to equip the Ukrainian air defense. A notable feature of the radar is its ability to operate autonomously and thus detect airborne targets. TRML-4D can in interact with IRIS-T missile defense systems. Ukraine received its first TRML-4D radars back in October 2022. However, in April 2024, the German government announced that Ukraine was given one TRML-4D as part of the regular military aid package, although this could be a radar that was ordered as early as 2023.